And have you met my partner, Arthur Morgan? No. I met your son, the sheriff. Okay. Howdy viewers, Brad, proprietor of Barstool Entertainment, doing another Red Dead Redemption 2 video. Now, the war between the Brace, Brace, Swaites, Swaites, and the Grays is becoming a little more um, elaborate. And Mr. Morgan and his friends are being sucked into it. In this case, Mr. Gray decides to use Mr. Morgan and his companions to steal some horses. And you are introduced to some uh, horse traders who, if you steal a horse, will give you better money than a stable. But I digress. This is called horse flesh for dinner. Can I help you? Oh, looks like you boys had some trouble. Yeah, we had some trouble. Bad trouble. What you want? Oh, I was supposed to meet some business partners here. They arranged a meeting, I believe. A fellow with a scar and a Mexican? Yes, sir. Out by the stables, I think. Thank you. And, uh, sorry for your troubles, man. Mr. Morgan actually knows what happened because he burned down the tobacco fields. And it was in the mission Fine Joys of Tobacco in which he and Sean, well, they did the deed. And now he is on his way to a meeting to help out Mr. Gray because, well, they're playing both sides against the middle and more than likely it's not going to work out. Lucky, you don't know me. You turn up in town, you're helping everybody. And there's troubles everywhere. Bandits attack my fields. Men getting killed. And have you met my partner, Arthur Morgan? No. I met your son, the sheriff. Okay. Mr. Gray here was saying how he had problems with a family. A family of degenerates. Oh, well, nobody likes degenerates. The hag and her inbred sons. They ruined this county. They killed my uncle, you know. That ain't right. Problem is, we can't be seen to get too close. And? We've got gold, Yankee. We've got gold. I ain't no Yankee, friend. I ain't nothing. My daddy came over on the boat from Scotland. I'm Scottish. And the Braithwaites? Goddamn peasants. I don't know. Mongrels. Slave fuckers. All you gotta do is look at them. How much gold? Enough. These are prized horses I'm talking about. Them, they'll get you 5,000. 5,000 for horses. Easy. And where do we sell them, these $5,000 horses? Over in Clemens Cove. Tell over there we'll run them out of state and give you 50 cents on the dollar. Mister, you got yourself a deal. Just keep us away from this. Publicly, I mean. My sense is we keep all horse wrestling away from the public. Go to the stables on the south side of the manor. That's where they keep the thoroughbred. Now the ride to the stables of the Braithwaites is going to be long and there's going to be some discussion on how to handle the situation. To be honest with you, it's a relatively easy mission, but you, I kind of get a sense that the guys are being played. We just ride. All right, let's 
Hecha fe. Tranquilízate. Real good, boy. Let me do the talking. you boys i hope so heard you got some horses we always got horses fine horses i mean i don't get you friend yeah you do come on listen why don't you get out of here you scarface and your greaser buddy whoa i don't like officials we ain't officials we're connoisseurs looking to do some breedings come on now partner okay fine follow me these here's mainly the studs available for purchase or for working. If that's what you're interested in. What is your boys interested in? We represent a famous uh, stable and stud farm from Saratoga. Is that so? Unofficially. Of course. Well, this here's Cerberus. Uh huh? Greaser, huh? Okay. Bandana's on. Don't need nobody ready. Recognizes. All right, I'll grab the white one in the middle. You get the other two. Relax, boy. Come on. Good boy. Easy now. Marston, you're going to tether him up to Javier's horse. Okay. Javier, you're going to lead the stallions. This way. Come on. Marston, you ride point. I'll cover up the back. If there's any problems, we regroup at Clemens Cove. Okay. What are you doing? Let's go, quick! Go, get out of here. I got the back. What? Stop! Stop! We're being robbed! I said stop these men! Stop! One of 
As you notice, I've probably been taking, having Mr. Morgan take health tonics, etc. It's good to have a good supply of those, and it's hard to take them while riding and all the other stuff going on, but they will keep you going and save your life. Now he has to pursue this stallion and try and calm it and get it to slow down to where he can now ride it back with his horse following. Now that Mr. Morgan has the horse calmed down, he has to now bring himself and his horse back to the gang and then bring the horses to Clement's Cove for selling. You got him. Well done. Clement's Cove is just over there. Come on. Let's get this over with. Well, that could have gone smoother. That'll be on my gravestone. You think they look like they're paying 5000 for horses? I guess we'll see. What you boys want? Heard you was, uh, heard you paid good prices for horses. Oh, we'll buy more or less anything, Pop. That so? Sure, Pop. I'm Clay Davies. That's my brother, Clive. We're twins. John, Arthur, Javier. <clears throat> so what are you, Cuban? No, I don't like Cubans. That's so? Maybe. Why, what do you care? You ain't Cuban. Maybe I like Cubans. <laughs> Ooh, you're funny. He's funny. Ain't he funny, Clive? Clive don't talk. We're twins, but I was born first. He came out all yellow and black, but he's okay. Ah. Sure. Yeah, I know these horses. They, they ain't yours, but I like you, and I'll give you... I can give you 650 for them. Hey. <laughs> I was told we could get up to $5,000 for them. And I was told the moon was made of ladies' tears. Only it ain't true. Not one little bit. But... I like you boys. But I ain't got more than 700 on me. You want it? Or you want to ride them fellers into town and maybe someone there will hang you? We're gonna need more than that. I ain't got no more money, Pop. Here, take it or leave it. Uh-huh. All right. You goddamn fool, Marston. Ain't no one around here got $5,000, boys, but nice meeting you. <laughs> See you boys again, I hope. Come on. Yeah. Close the gate, Clive. 600 is a lot less than 5,000. And again, um, things have not worked out really well. And I'm guessing Mr. Morgan is a little unhappy. But that is the end of the mission. Horse flesh for dinner. And again, you get ripped off. And I had a feeling that they were being played. 
but I digress. I'm Brad, proprietor of Barstool Entertainment. If you like this video, hit the thumbs up button. Feel free to leave comments. I post four videos a week about video games, and it's a mixed bag at this point. But if you don't want to miss out, hit the subscribe button and bell icon, and you'll be informed when I post a video. Thanks for watching, thank you for subscribing, and thanks for stopping by.